Hi Item 3D just released new model and this is incredible. I was impressed before but this is on total different level. So let me take you in this video step by step what was changed, what was improved, what is no additions and most important stay to the end I will show you my new discovery how we can use it this to create a real professional product. First, when you come to this website, link will be down below for you. You'll notice changing on the interface. There's the add additional options. First, you'll notice it's have it image to image as well as multi view. This is allowed not just use it one image, but allowed multiple side of the image to create better definitions and more reference to our 3D model. The next edition was add a portrait. It's a specially optimized model that work with creating 3D models from the portraits and it work very, very well. So here's one example. This is an image where I create myself look like a Gru. And this is what create from this look on this. It is unbelievable amount of details and most important how close it is to reference image. I'll notice in many other ones, AI 3D generators, when I uploaded my picture, my photo, I'm not even closer many times to look what I uploaded. It's because how model was trained. So in this case, it's keep it very good reference to original image to creating this. And can you believe it? This, it's come just from the 2D images of the portrait. And all what you need to do just go right here, click upload image and click generate. If you want to add texture, just be sure enable the textures and then you'll have a fully 3D model with a very exactly yours portrait done. I mean, this is so cool. Well, but let's go back to our models was this change. If you look on the bottom, you'll notice it's have it version 1.5. Before we have it 1.0, which is actually a very nice model and it's allowed us to create a lot of different resolutions. With 1.5, amount of resolution is changed. We also have it very low, but ultra fast generations and tell you true, this is generate incredibly high details. I will show in a second when we go to examples. But right there, you can select all different, including very high pro version of the resolution, which creating very well distributed polygons and almost don't need the topology. Well, same, you can create a texture or otherwise. And this, by the way, all available right now for you to test. Be sure to click on my link below to get extra credits. Well, let's go now look and compare these models. Here, example of the car. Yes, this car was generated just from this one single image. We don't have it any reference on the back of the car or a side. So everything was created was this side was created exclusively by AI from extrapolations of other informations. Look on the details. Let's look on the bottom and you can see right here. Perfect. I mean, this is ready to create a full model. You can even use it just like this, put it on the background or other in your video games, your 3D render, it's ready to go. And if you look a little bit closer without texture, yes, it does generate it with the texture. You can see this incredible amount of details, even include inside the cabin. Look, they even did pedals there, which is absolutely not visible from our image. So it does have a very interesting approach and look on these details. It is stunning how well it's created. This video is sponsored by High Items 3D, but all opinions, test, and whatever you hear from me, it's absolutely mine with no influence soever from high items. Well, let's compare lower and higher polygons. So right here is a model and it's creating from our reference of the image. It's a Martians from Mars attack. And if we come closer, you can see amount of details right here. Look on the neck. This is, wow, this is incredible amount of details. And that is render on higher version, 1536, the pro version. So let's check same model when we render on low polygons. And this is incredible because it does not look that much different. Of course, if we come closer, you can notice we're missing some details because it is much lower polygon resolutions we can see right here. So it's easy, can use it even in the mobile devices. 
but it's still it's produced exactly the same like other, only with much less polygons. And we'll look on these models on a mesh of the models a little bit later in our uh, Blender application. You remember at the beginning I told you about something cool you can create it. And I did use this. I exactly from these applications I upload images and I create these 3D figurines. You probably saw them already before and I do like create. I create way more because they perfect, they're ready to create for 3D printing. In a second I will show you how you can do this just with few steps. But that is just the beginning. What I found I can create, it is a jewelry. Yes, I cre can create a rings, I can create brushes and other things and create them from castable material. So it's meaning when you 3D print, you can put it inside the clay and when they burn out, you can actually create a metal rings. Yes, your 3D printing, you can create a beautiful jewelry. Let me show you a few examples. So right here, I have it for cosplay, a warlock. Warlock outfit with uh, this warlock big rings. Look on this. This is just the image was uploaded. And this is what created. Look on this beautiful ring can create. You don't necessarily need to create from the metal. You can just create from ABS printer, very heavy and ready to use. It's like the same with, you know, this ring was printed the same way. Or a look on this Rococo style brush. Well, technically it's Baroque. It's not total symmetrical, but still it's very beautiful. And I do a lot of this type for the shooting. Or you want to see even more something impressed? Look on this. This is the front of the image. And it's based on the some Russian fairy tale about the princess frog. But what I want to do is kind of create this brush. And this is one image. And the second is only back of the image. And look what is created. This is literally when I saw how it's created, I was stunning on the quality and beside depth. See, it does not create from this 2D image like this. It's creating this depth 3D. Wow, it, it, it is incredible. Just imagine having this brush, like big size printing. It, it will be head turner. This is incredible. Of course, it will require to create some supports for 3D printing, mostly probably right here where we have it arrows, but it is unbelievably. Well, if you want to create your own ring or try kind of with jewelry, let me give you a few tips how to do this. Number one, you want to create your prompt. And I just have it simplified. It says create a 3D image of the ring made from roses something different most important for us you want to put it ready for 3d printing so it will exclude some floating objects and also positioning no floating parts or connected so after time it's created for me a this ring this is look very good i will show how it will look in 3d in a second well if you don't you have a chat gpt you can do same in the gemini in gemini plus you have some ability with your new nano banana to create it is for example right here i said the ring it's create this i says hey it's need be from gold it's add gold but if you notice problem is right here i notice on the bottom they have a little bit thorns and tell you true you don't want to give it to person who you like this ring maybe to your enemies so the thorns a little bit poking the fingers but generally you don't want it so a nice things about new in gemini nano banana just says hey i want smooth so it will create like this and add a smooth so this is different ways you can use it so and here is the result inside the high item 3d so i put it this image right there and you can see it's generated for us this is 3d ring look on the quality what we have here it's incredible and if you don't like it for some reason, you can always go and try. So you have it up to three. You try total about four renders for the price of one render. So you can create more of them. And if you want to see how it's look materials, just click generate with textures. And there you will have it, how it will look in a metal. Couple very fast examples for you. Here is I was creating Elvish ring and you can see it's have it very nice. And look how it's created. It is smart enough to understand how the line's going and it's creating this beautiful, stunning ring. If you're interested more, I can provide more information in the future. Just leave it your comment below. Let me know what you're interested. Just 
general want to say if you're interested in this and you have a 3d printer i do recommend for you to get it something like stray this cast resin which is specifically designed to create for the jewelry from 3d printer so when you have it your model created in high items 3d you can export here and create it and after casting metal same thing if you have a portrait of your person somebody you like it and you decide to cast them in a metal you can do exactly the same because with new portrait edition it's create incredible resemblance to our photos and it's have this beautiful 3d model okay so let me show you how you can save it and all other steps to prepare so right here this is our image we created inside the chat gpt if you remember this ring with smoothness this is our ring when it's render and you can see inside this actually did very good job out of box this is already ready to print the ring and it's look very beautiful when you print out you can just select stl this is already 3d print variations you of course can take it and export any other format if you want to compare to them or use in your games and blenders in 3d renders but for the 3d printing you want to create sdl selected after select just click download it if you want to add the textures just click create additional texture but remember the texture will base it on your image because this is already gray and kind of not metal texture it just will look almost exactly the same so no point for me to create the texture on this one well let's go now jump in a blender and compare our meshes what we have here so first you can see on our side this is low polygon well let me correct this is version one with the lowest polygon so you can see how resolution it was very bad this is a little bit higher resolutions but if we go link and we compare to our latest you can see how much is different okay let me turn around this okay there you go and we'll just come closer so if we look on the lines here and this is our older and this 1.5 so what is change even right there you can see how the lines and the polygons they're not smooth you can see some small distortions on the newer it's much cleaner line so ai model it's more understand what needed and create the better uh, mesh and if we switch to the mesh we can come closer and look and you can see it's much better distributions have it more when you need it and less when it's more uh, straight compared to previous model it is have it a little bit more chaotic and less kind of organized so optimizations on the repository uh, repository it's much better in a, a newer as well on the distribution of the polygons let's compare now our lower versus high polygons in 1.5 so right here you can see this is our low polygons and if we come closer you definitely can see a little bit more open mesh which is still look not bad and if we're going to our high resolution much more polygons and of course because of that we'll have a much smoother mesh on this so it's still not bad on a low polygon with a five it still performed quite a bit impressive and it's have a lot of information already for us to work so in many cases i will probably say try to create on a lower polygon on the lowest possible because it's much cheaper per credits and besides it's created much faster and only in a case if you need like extremely extremely high details then probably want to go to highest model as possible and if we disable polygon just look on this we can definitely can see the resolution on the highest pro versus the lowest resolution well you know what it's true for everything if you find this video interesting give you some information please Put it like, subscribe, and share. And remember, use the link down below to get extra credits when you're going to use this applications. See you next time. Bye.